Hi, my name is Nikki Delaney, and today I'll be presenting a presentation over an Inuit throat singer by the name of Tanya Tagek. Throat Singing with Tanya Tagek, presented by Nikki Delaney. Throat singing is a distinct type of musical style and may also be known as throat songs or breath songs. Long ago, throat singing was originally a game created for entertainment purposes, along with a specific guideline of rules that often resulted with a winner and loser. However, an artist by the name of Tanya Tagek has recreated her own modern version of this special style of music that makes everyone a winner. Throughout my research, I've discovered the true meaning and origin of throat singing. Tanya Tagek's journey to fame and her determination to preserve the unique style of music. So what exactly is throat singing? Throat singing is a performance that is usually presented by two women who are placed facing one another with their lips close to touching. They may be crouching down or standing up. The performance may last anywhere between one to three minutes. One woman may begin while the other woman replies. The leading woman makes a short rhythmic motive that is continuously repeated with short soundless gaps in between while the other woman fills the gaps. During the performance, both women express their vocal skills in competition between one another. The first woman who begins to laugh, run out of breath, or is not able to stay on time with another woman will lose and whoever overthrows the largest number of people is considered to be the winner of the competition. Words and syllables are both used in this style of music. Usually when words are used, they normally have no specific meaning and are sometimes considered to be the names of ancestors or a significant word at the period of the competition occurred. On the other hand, syllables may represent sounds of nature, animals, or everyday life. For instance, some examples of sounds may include a river or a dog slipping on ice. In some cases, throat songs may also reflect a significant story. The specific tonal quality of this musical style are produced by glottal and nasal sounds along with distinct breathing. Two different altered pitches are developed by voiced and unvoiced sounds that are expressed by exhalation or inhalation. Exhalation and inhalation can each create voiced and unvoiced sounds, resulting in a total of four different methods of vocal assembly within the style of music. Multiple songs are then produced through the combination of these four techniques. Meet Tanya Tagek. There are various names for Inuit throat singing. However, most scholars rely on the word Kadajak. Kadajak, a type of throat song, is a style of singing that can mostly be heard in the area of Baffin Island. Tanya Tagak's mother was born and raised on Baffin Island and grew up around this style of music. However, Tagak's father was a man from Cambridge Bay, Canada, which led to Tanya Tagak's birthplace being in Canada. Throat singing had never been a part of Tagak's life until her mother gave her a cassette of two Inuit women doing it the traditional manner. When she first listened to the cassette, she claimed she heard the land in the voices and began imitating the sounds and performing both parts. It became her form of self-acceptance. One day, Tagak attended a Midnight Sun Arts Festival in 2003 and was drinking and conversing with the main director of the festival around a fire. Just for fun, she started throat singing for him and the director complimented her talent and told her how much she enjoyed her voice. The next day, the main act couldn't come to the festival and the director asked her to fill in instead. The spontaneous moment became her start to fame. Today, Tagek is most well known for her own modern version of throat singing. She puts her own twist on throat singing by adding wild vocalizations with a drummer and electric violinist and a noisy array of synthesizers that accompany her during most of her performances. Tagek takes on the powerful role of both singers in her own modern version of throat singing. Her swift tonal differences refer to the attendance of two women. As she sings a passage, she quickly switches between frantic diatribes and distressed babbling, all while her face transforms between the two very different states of mind, as if she were possessed. Overall, Tagek has her own unique style of throat singing, and her passion is built upon her determination for a better world. Tagek's passion for this music style is expressed throughout her beautifully unique voice and creation of her songs, which often reflect back on her ancestors' history and land itself. Over 100 years ago, the practice of throat singing was banned by Christian missionaries in an attempt to convert indigenous peoples into the mainstreams of Canadian society. Performers often claim that while throat singing, they feel a sense of belonging to the community and a connection with the Inuit tradition.
even though this tradition has recently been reintroduced due to the fact that it was condemned by churches for its association with shamanism. Next motivation, the reintroduction of this music is passionate and obtains a connection with history, as you could see from the video that I just showed you. Over time, throat singing has become a new way to celebrate the Inuit past and the present. Tigek has now become a strong and active promoter for the disrupted tradition of throat singing. In more recent times, Tigek has become much more political and speaks out on a wide range of Inuit public ills that have been provoked by colonism and racism. As some shows, she protects the various names of 1,200 indigenous women who have either went missing or have been murdered since 1980, as she sings for her audience. Tagek states that, my daughters are four times more likely to be murdered than any other racial demographic in Canada. So how do I change this? How do I help? For this reason and many others, Tagek shares the true importance of throat singing along with the life and history of her people through her music and hopes for a brighter future for younger generations. In summary, throat singing is a unique traditional style of music and is mostly known for being a game played between two women who are usually standing face to face. Multiple sounds and techniques are required to perform this musical style. The game was first created for entertainment and can still be performed in its traditional way. However, it also contains modernized versions that have been created by multiple artists such as Tanya Tagek who took its traditional version and made it one of her own. Today, Tagek is a talented woman who continues to inspire many through her hard work and dedication. Overall, she strives to make the world a better place through her strong voice and passion for the special style of music that she adopted and recreated as her own. <laughs>